Of all known places, black holes are among the strangest in the universe. From the moment their existence became known, all kinds of questions, hypotheses, and investigations have kept the scientific community in a constant state of research. If you like our videos, please support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and look forward to the videos that will be waiting for you in the future. Let us begin our journey through the vastness of the universe. Thousands of Black Holes A group of astronomers, using data from NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory, has discovered thousands of black holes at the center of the Milky Way, as shown in a photo published last week on the Space Agency's website. These stellar mass black holes, which weigh between 5 and 30 times the mass of our Sun, were found about three light years from the supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy, known as Sagittarius A star. The Space Agency points out that this is a relatively short distance on a cosmic scale. As defined by the Space Agency in a statement, the prey consists of black holes with a stellar mass generally between 5 and 30 times the mass of the Sun. A black hole is itself invisible. However, when these neutron stars are blocked by a star in a close orbit, it draws gas from its companion. Astronomers call these systems X-ray binaries. This material falls into a disk, heats up to millions of degrees, and produces X-rays that can be captured before they disappear into the black hole. Still more black holes to discover. Astronomers believe that there are more black holes clustering around the massive center of the galaxy than in the entire Milky Way. On the basis of their results, they estimate that about 500 binary black holes and up to 10,000 black holes populate the Milky Way. How did they come to this conclusion? By concluding that black holes that have a visible accretion disk are only a tiny fraction of those that should exist. The Largest Black Hole The 100 million black holes found in the Milky Way can be classified as supermassive black holes, middle black holes, stellar black holes, and micro black holes. Scientists at the Max Planck Institute for Extraterrestrial Physics have just identified the largest black hole ever reported, reports ABC. Its mass is 40 billion times greater than that of the Sun. It is so large that the term supermassive, which is often used to describe these phenomena, has been neglected and its discoverers call it ultramassive. This hole is located at the center of Holmberg 15a, an elliptical supergiant galaxy 500 light-years away from Earth, at the center of the galaxy cluster Abel 85. The researchers believe that this hole could be the result of an ancient collision of two galaxies that have merged into one larger galaxy. Its size would be 20 times larger than the width of our solar system, and its mass would be 40 billion times that of our Sun. The team of scientists used data from the MUSE instrument at the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope in Chile's Atacama Desert to locate the black hole. Neutron Star or the Smallest Black Hole A team of astronomers has just announced that thanks to the latest technological advances, a collision between a black hole and a neutron star has been detected. To date, no human being has ever experienced such a phenomenon. The signal was so strong that astronomers have not even lost a crumb of it. If the event is confirmed, it will be the first time such an event has been observed from Earth. The event with the designation S190814 BV was discovered by the interferometers LIGO and Virgo on August 14th. According to the first analysis, it's a cosmic collision in 99% of cases. Nevertheless, scientists are still reviewing the data and looking for the light emitted from the neutron star when it was swallowed. According to the astronomer's measurements, the object was swallowed up by a black hole of about 23 times the mass of the Sun. But this is where the mystery comes in. 
the object had a mass about 2.6 times that of the Sun. The astronomers' dilemma is that they now no longer know whether what disappeared was a giant neutron star or a tiny black hole. But in both cases, a new record. There is a mass gap that astronomers have always found between the mass of the Sun among the 2.5 neutron stars and the five black holes. This new object seems to break through the existing gap. In the published study, the researchers tilt the scales towards the possibility that it's a super light black hole. How can such a small black hole form now? Researchers hope that further analysis of this and similar phenomena that may occur will lead them to clearer hypotheses that will provide an explanation for all of this. How does this happen? When a star dies, usually three different things can happen. First, it could become a white dwarf, where a gaseous cluster would be left over from the rest of the star. But it's also possible that it collapses. Then it becomes a neutron star. Neutron stars and black holes are remnants of a dead star. However, the smallest black hole is five times more massive than the Sun, while the mass of the largest neutron star is only 2.5 times that of the Sun. Regardless of their exact dimensions, the extent of their collision would have been immeasurable. Because of the massive collision, gravitational waves translate into waves in space-time. Thus, clues to the origin of the binary system, such as the masses of the space objects, their velocity and acceleration, are encoded in the waveforms. However, the most important thing would be to find the electromagnetic radiation. Stunning Facts Black Holes Near Us Are you worried that one day the Earth could be swallowed by a black hole? Since they are not easy to detect, we don't know which of them is the most dangerous for our existence. However, the one at the heart of our galaxy, the Milky Way, is probably the closest since it's at the center of all galaxies. Nevertheless, V616 Mon A0620-00 in the constellation Monoceros is considered the closest and 3,000 light years away, so we can take a deep breath. How big is a black hole? According to NASA, black holes can be large or small. Scientists believe that a black hole can be as small as an atom and that even though it's so tiny, it can have the same mass as a huge mountain, where mass is the amount of matter that an object possesses. Black holes are usually much smaller than we think. The size of black holes is almost always about 30 kilometers, and if our sun were to be transformed into a black hole, the orbit of our planet would not be affected at all. On the other hand, a black hole, if it's large, can be as large as 20 suns. These are called stellar black holes. It's estimated that there are many, many stellar black holes in the Milky Way, the galaxy in which the Earth is located. But that's not all. Because there are even bigger black holes, supermassive black holes. The size of these dark giants is the incredible sum of more than one million times the size of the sun, which, I assure you, does not even fit into your imagination. Scientists have found enough evidence to suggest that there is at least one supermassive black hole in every major galaxy right in the center. The one that exists in the Milky Way is known as Sagittarius A star. Its size is four million times the size of the sun, and several million planets of the Earth would fit inside it. How are black holes formed? A black hole is formed when a star runs out of fuel and the rest of its matter, if there is any left, collapses under its own gravity and becomes a singularity, exactly a point without volume and infinite density. The first black hole. The first black hole could only be discovered when X-ray technology entered astronomy, the X black hole. Cygnus X1 was first seen in the 1960s but this hole was not officially recognized as a black hole until about a decade later. What would happen if I fell into a black hole? In the scientific world, it is said that when a person falls into a black hole, their body is absorbed like spaghetti. However, 
Experts point out that it would look more like a stream of toothpaste being squeezed out of a tube. The discovery of black holes also has implications for scientists interested in gravitational waves. That's to say, the waves in space-time generated by powerful cosmic phenomena, such as a collision between massive objects. By determining the number of black holes in the Milky Way, scientists studying gravitational waves were able to determine which waves were caused by a black hole and how they were formed. What do you think about black holes? Leave us a comment below.